What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this week. I am here with Drew Fergewell at SQL Saturday Cleveland, where Drew is going to tell us about DBA tools and how to contribute to it. Yeah, so for those of you that aren't familiar with DBA tools, uh, it's an, basically an open source PowerShell module that at current has over 300 commands. And the reason there's so many commands in it is there is a very vibrant, very involved community that is constantly finding ways to improve PowerShell functionality to automate a lot of SQL Server tasks. Now, all those 300 commands came from literally all over the globe and people who were really interested and passionate about making automation better with SQL Server. And if you want to get involved with that, there's a lot of different things you can do. Obviously, the first one is, if you haven't been there yet, check out dbatools.io. That is the homepage for the project. And you can go there and you can learn about what commands are there. And you can also see about what the roadmap is as the module continues to develop. Now, if you're interested in contributing, there's a few things you should think about before you get started. The first is you definitely want to be familiar with source control, like things like GitHub and then using Git to basically take down and branch and merge different bases of code. So that way you can pull down your own version of the module, make your changes, test them, and then submit a PR or pull request to the DBA Tools team to integrate your code. And the reason for that is, is that it is an easy way for that team, the kind of the, kind of the code maintainers like Crystal Lumaire and everybody, to know what's coming and you know, what to expect from your code. Now, once you have a familiarity with using Git SCM and then things like GitHub, the next thing you'll want to do is make sure you're getting engaged with the project leader. So if you haven't already, if you're not already there, you should definitely check out the SQL Server Community Slack channel. There's an entire DBA Tools channel there where people are discussing potential commands or testing or features. So you can go in there and get involved. And then if they come up, if you come up with a good idea, they'll encourage you to submit and you know you submit your code and everything. Now, once you do that, you know, be prepared for a lot of feedback. You know, it's a collaborative effort. You know, you may think it's a really good idea, but there's definitely some standards and, and some other things you're going to want to adhere to as part of the project. And all of that is outlined on the DBA Tools website under the Getting Started section. So definitely check that out. Make sure you're following the good coding practices and everything like that, too. And then finally, you know, if you're someone who is passionate about the DBA Tools project and maybe necessarily you don't want to cut any code, there's a ton of other ways to get involved, too. There's things like documentation and testing and coordinating. They're always looking for more volunteers to get involved with the project. So again, heading over to dbatools.io or heading into the Slack channel and just basically saying, how can I help? Are all good ways to get involved because this is an awesome community project. And the more people they can get involved with, they get more traction behind it. I mean, it's got a ton of traction already. The more that, the more that people contribute and continue to make it better, uh, is just everybody wins. So, you know, if you're out there and you're interested in contributing or doing things like that, by all means, get involved. There are lots of different ways. Yeah, and so if you guys aren't using DBA tools, it's really cool. I just recently started using it. Definitely check it out. You know, go contribute even if, like Drew said, you don't want to contribute code, contribute to documentation or anything else. Get on that Slack channel, you know, figure out how you can help and become involved. So, thanks again for watching this week. I'll uh, see you again next time. And take care. See you guys.